In this video, we will talk about one-to-one -one and onto linear transformations. So first, some definitions. Let T be a linear transformation from Rn to Rm. Then we say T is onto Rm if for each V in Rm, there is at least one X in Rn such that T of X is equal to B. For example, suppose we have this linear transformation mapping R3 to R2, such that T of the vector x, y, z gets mapped to x, y. Then this is certainly a onto transformation, because given any vector in R2, we can find a vector in R3, which it will map to. For example, suppose we take the vector 1, 2 in R2. Then the image under the transformation of the vector 1, 2, 0 in R3 is just 1, 2. And there needs to be at least one x. There could be multiple. For instance, the transformation t on 1, 2, 1 is also 1, 2. If we change the transformation from R3 to R2 into something like this, t of x, y, z is equal to x, 0, then this is not an onto transformation. Because if we take a vector in R2, such as 1, 2, well, there are no vectors that can map to 1, 2 under this transformation, since the second component must always be 0. To tell if a transformation is onto or not, we can look at its matrix representation. Let A be the standard matrix representation of T, then T maps Rn onto Rm, if and only if the columns of A span Rm. A quick aside about if and only if, this means both implications are true. So P if and only if Q means that P implies Q and Q implies P. So in this situation, uh, the linear transformation T is onto M implies that its matrix representation, the columns will span Rm, and vice versa, that if you know the matrix representation of a linear transformation and that columns span Rm, then that means that the linear transformation that it corresponds to is an onto transformation. This follows from the fact that spanning Rm means that the columns of A can form a linear combination to any vector in Rm. So you can always find a solution x to this vector equation for any v, but this is equivalent to the transformation always having at least one solution for this vector v, so it's onto. Another concept that we will look at today is t is one to one if each v in Rn is the image of at most one x in Rn. If we go back to this example, one, two, was the image of the vector 1, 2, 0, but also 1, 2, 1. And in fact, for this particular transformation, there would be infinitely many vectors that could map to 1, 2. So this transformation is not 1 to 1. We want to ensure that the image can only come from one possible thing. Now consider this transformation, the vector x, y gets mapped to x, y, and 0. This is a linear transformation from R2 to R3. Then this is indeed 1 to 1. For instance, the vector 1, 2, 0 can only possibly come from the vector 1, 2. If it's any other vector here, then these would be those numbers. So that cannot be. What about the vector 1, 2, 1? Well, it looks like this is not an onto transformation. So there are no vectors x, y that would map to 1, 2, 1. But that is not a problem. This mapping is still 1, 2, 1 because in the definition, each v in Rm is the image of at most one x. So it could be 0, like in this case. So how can we tell if a transformation is 1, 2, 1? Well, there's a nice little theorem. Let t be a linear transformation from Rn to Rm. Then t is 1, 2, 1 if and only if the equation tx equals 0 has only the trivial solution, x equals 0. Note that x equals 0 is always a solution to t of x equals 0, since t is linear. We can start with t of 0, the 0 vector, which is the same as the scalar 0 times the 0 vector. But remember, in a linear transformation, the scalar can move outside. So we have 0 times some vector, but that has to 
be equal to zero. Right there. What this is saying is that t is one to one if and only if x equals zero is the only solution. So there are no other solutions. So let's prove this. We have to prove two directions. First, we assume that t is one to one, then show that the equation t of x equals zero has only the trivial solution. So we will prove this by contradiction. So first, we suppose that t is one to one, but assume that t of x equals zero has more than the trivial solution. So assume that t of x equals zero has another solution, y, which is non-zero. Then that means that t of y is equal to zero, but this immediately violates the fact that t is one to one. Since the vector zero has two images, y, which is non-zero, and zero. Remember, zero was always a solution. So therefore, this assumption that t of x equals zero has another solution must be wrong. So x equals zero is the only solution to this equation. Now, since we were proving an if and only if statement, we have to prove two directions. That means now we have to suppose that t of x equals zero has only the trivial solution, and we have to show that this implies that the transformation t is one to one. So our strategy is the same as before. In order to show that t is one to one, we will assume that it's not one to one and show that if that's the case, then something goes wrong. So assume t is not one to one. Then what does that mean? For it to be not one to one. Well, that means there must be a vector v in Rn and some vector x and y, two different vectors in Rn, such that the image under t of both x and y are both v. This goes against t being one to one. But then t of x minus t of y is equal to the zero vector because they're both equal to v. But because t is a linear transformation, this means that we can combine these together so that this is t of x minus y. Remember, this is the definition of a linear transformation. But we're assuming that the equation t of x equals zero has only the trivial solution. So since t of this vector equals zero, that means that the only solution to this equation is this vector x minus y has to be the zero vector. But this is contradicting that x and y are different vectors. So therefore, this assumption must be wrong that t is not one to one. So therefore, t is one to one. Recall that we say v1 to vn are linearly independent if the linear combination of these vectors equaling zero has only the trivial solution. That means that x1 to xn must all be zero. And that's the only solution. So that sounds very familiar to what we just established. And in fact, we can rewrite this vector equation as a matrix equation, where the columns of the matrix are the vectors here. And so this tells us that if we have A be the matrix representation of T, then T is one to one if and only if the columns of A are linearly independent. This is just rephrasing what we just proved.